Welcome, and in today's video, we are going to be learning about VisBug 101. It's sort of like how to launch it, what are the basic things it can do, and it's essentially the essentials. Follow along as we poke around on GitHub, uh, my favorite site to use VisBug on right now, and we'll just explore some things, and hopefully you'll learn a few things about what VisBug can do along the way, and let's get started. My profile here is github.com slash argalink, and one of the first things I'm gonna do, I mean, I like this little video that I got to make on here. They've added a new profile feature, but I don't want to see it over and over again. So I'm going to launch Fizzbug and delete it. I'm just going to delete an image right off the page and it's a piece of cake. So first you launch Fizzbug by clicking the icon in your extension here. You can also right click and go to Fizzbug show or hide. There's also a hotkey. And if you hover over the icon, it will tell you what the hotkey is for your platform. So kind of sweet. I usually end up just kind of like right clicking, I suppose, and showing and hiding. And we immediately get the guides tool. But what I want to do is I just want to click that image and delete it. It should be that easy, right? That's just a thing in the HTML. So Visbug just reached into the HTML and deleted that. In fact, I'm going to delete this little header and that little divider. And uh, I'm done. OK, so there's an interesting thing that Visbug can do. It can just delete stuff. Uh, you click and delete. And if you hold delete, you will continue deleting the whole page. In fact, it's really fun. I'm just going to do it right here. <laughs> And the page is gone. Oh, there's still a header. There we go. Now there's no more header. So that's really fun to do. And if I refresh, it all comes back. You're not changing the website that is on the server. You're changing the copy of the piece of paper that your browser built for you. So in case you're wondering what VisBug is doing, it's just modifying the piece of paper that it built for you based on the code that it came in. It's like changing the code. So it can delete stuff. So I'm just going to click it here and delete that image again delete that container and that divider. Okay, so now we're into a nice little harmonious system here. So some of the basics of what VisBug can do without just talking about the tools, because I'm gonna try to make tool specific videos that go through what all these are, but these are the different tools you have to choose from. There's the inspection tool, the accessibility tool, the move tool, this lets you move things around the page um, instead of delete them. This is the margin tool. This one's the spacing tool. And this is the alignment tool. It's a Flexbox specific alignment tool. It will create a Flexbox if there isn't one there. This is your hue shift tool. So you can use the keyboard and manipulate a color, uh, hue, saturation, and lightness all from the keyboard. It's especially useful if you want to change multiple colors that are uh, like your selection contains different colors. Anyway, I'll make a whole tool about it. The box shadow tool does exactly what it sounds like, modifies box shadows. This is the position tool. I just want to grab this one and show it off really quick because it's so cool. You click something and uh, you can now move it around wherever you want. So I could move my profile image over here and take all this pin section and move that over here <laughs> just because just because I can't. Oh, look, I can just kind of make a fun picture. Like what if I wanted to show my contributions for the year? I could grab these pinned items and just delete them. I could, okay, so now I need a bunch of space if this is my task. So I'm going to hit M for the margin tool and I'm going to hit shift up. I'm going to make a bunch of space here. Just wee. Okay. And come back to my position tool, grab my image, move it just over top of here. And now I could take like a little pretty picture or something and be like, there's my avatar over my contribution graph. I don't know. These are just things Visbug can do. All right, so I'm gonna refresh the page so I get back to normal. I'm gonna launch Facebook again just by clicking it. And okay, so what else can you do? You can also edit text. So I want this to feel like a document that you can edit. So you can double click text and say, um, I'm I'm Fatim, Fatim Argyle. That's a uh, fake Adam. Or maybe it'd be Fodum, Fodum, Fodam, 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 Fo, Fodam whatever this joke's getting lame you can change text okay <laughs> and if you find yourself getting stuck in text change the tool uh, and hit escape you will deselect all the items so in visbug you can also hold shift and multi-select so you can continue clicking items and that's important because well in this case with the measuring tool you're measuring the distance between each new item that you go to so by selecting the first one you now create a route for the second one if you hold shift and click you now create a new route for the next measurement and it'll continue measuring across those distances so kind of neat. So you can delete stuff. You can edit text. You can also drop a new images. So here, let me delete that again. If I select this image here, and I'm just going to go to my local directory here, and I drop it in and see if I drag it in, it highlights that it's about to replace that image. And if I let go, sure enough, I swapped in. Ooh, 
I think I need to consider this as my new avatar. That is looking spicy. And look, it goes really nice with this. And is this an, I don't think this is an image, so I can't drop an image inside of there. But another kind of cool feature of VizBug is if you click an image and drag in one, so here, I'll just pull this one in. Um, it's, if you drag it on it, you'll get to see that it changes it there. But you can also, if it's pre-selected and it's an image that you have selected, pull in and just drop it anywhere and it will replace the one that's there. So it's what that's handy for is you can kind of make a multi-selection. Like here, I'll grab all these folks' avatars and I'll replace them with a single skull icon by just dragging it anywhere into the page. And uh, VizBug looks at your selection. It looks to see how many images were there and it goes bam, 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 bam. You can also uh, check this out. If I have multiple images selected and I grab multiple images, so I'm gonna grab a multi-selection of images. You can see I have four different sort of uh, positions here and I let go, they'll all drop inside of there. And they're rotating, so if I zoom in, we can see that these are the different image expressions that are dropped. And that's interesting that that one's squashed. Oh, it must be really wide and that's some CSS that they have applied. Okay, so the other ones were like near, um, near being a square. Okay, so what else can VizBug do? We've edited some text, we've changed images, we've deleted stuff. So here, I'm gonna come over here to the VizBug uh, GitHub page, which has a wiki and has all the keyboard commands. Oh yeah, okay, you can copy and paste stuff. So I'm just looking here at like the different commands that you can do. Okay, so we can copy and paste. So if I copy this avatar with Command C and I hit Command V, um, oh look, it says, do you wanna allow it? Yeah, I do wanna allow that. I can grab this and paste it somewhere else. Yeah, look at that. I pasted another one in here and then I can paste another one inside of here and another one inside of here <laughs> and another one inside of here. These ones look really good. I'm actually super down with that. Look how cool that card looks. Good job layout team at uh, GitHub. This is all because the CSS that they've written is really nice. Look, it's handling overflow really well here. It's handling an introduction of a whole new element. Really nice. Um, I'm impressed. Okay, I also must have just like pasted it in a really nice element or that had a good layout. So anyway, okay, what else can we do? Let's check this keyboard master list. Uh, you can cut, oh yeah, so after we paste something, obviously command uh, X or control X will cut something. So we can go cut these, these back out, kind of restore our images or our, our layouts a little bit here. And look at that, interesting. Okay, cool, what else? We can paste, we learned that. Oh, duplicate, this one's super cool. So uh, let's see, if I don't have enough people I'm sponsoring, how about I go fake that I've got tons of people I'm sponsoring? Yeah, that's that's not dishonest at all. Let me delete these. Notice how delete also goes and selects the next item uh, after it. So let's also duplicate these. These looked cooler. And I'm gonna use the keyboard. Oh, there's keyboard navigation. Okay, so this is a little tricky and I had to do it right here for a very specific reason. If I zoom in, What's happening is um, there's multiple elements inside of here. And if I go to the inspect uh, tooltip, we'll be able to see that. Okay, so we have an image uh, dot avatar selected, but if I hit shift enter, I'll select the parent element, which look is an anchor tag. So that makes sense, right? This is a, a link with an image inside that will take me to their profile. So uh, what I want to duplicate those, I don't want to duplicate the image inside of the link. If I want to recreate and create more, you know, appropriately inside of this design, if I want to go mock, I'm editing production right now. If I want to go mock what it's like to um, have many more sponsored profile people there, I can now select the parent element of the image by hitting shift enter. So that will let me go up and down the DOM. And then when I have that parent selected, I can hit command D and duplicate the link. And now I'll get a, an appropriate layout as these continue to flow in, uh, along the space here. Kind of cool, right? Wow, look at that. Uh, what else we got in here for just some essentials? Expand selection. Oh, this one's really cool. So a lot of times what we want to do is get all the other versions of something, right? Command E lets you find other items that are like it. So this would be actually a really good one here. So let's go to, let's just select our padding tool for funsies right now. Okay, so let's say we're looking at this box, this box pinned items, uh, et cetera. And so you notice how like, as I hover on these different class names, you'll see other things in the document that are highlighting. And what's really nice about that is you can use that to go select everything that is of that type and you can make a really quick selection. So if I wanna find all of the other pinned list items, you can see them highlighting there. I click that and now I have all of them selected at the same time, or I should, it looks like I only selected the first two. So maybe these other ones have 
different class names on them that have made this a little trickier for the auto expand to go find. But I can grab them explicitly like that and change the, let's see, these could have margin or padding. They have padding, but it doesn't seem to be changing. So they might have some styles on there that are tricky. They do tend to, well, anyway, sometimes there's important styles that um, Visbug is not able to overwrite. But that was just kind of besides the point anyway. So that was expand selection. So that it was with a hotkey, you can do it. And we'll hit Command E. And we can see that we're just selecting other items on the page that are like it. And that's really handy because it's often that you're making a selection in order to make a modification to something somewhere. So what we're doing is uh, grabbing an item and then finding all the rest like it. Let's see if it works on these squares. Yeah. So it works on these squares. And well, here, let me get rid of the guides here because that's getting out of control. I'll switch to a different tool like, um, how about just the, yeah, accessibility tool is great. And we'll hit Command E and you can see that I'm selecting each of those. And if I hit Command Shift E, I should highlight all of them, but oh, there it goes. Okay, so I got all of them. And theoretically, I could change all of their background colors at the same time right now to lime green. And there we go. So I can change the colors of my, well, that's cheating as well, isn't it? And look, here's the colors for you to like leverage right here. That's funny. Um, so yeah, you can go modify your contributions in the last year. That's funny. Look, I made it look like I'm, I'm doing really great. I'm here, I'm gonna delete that again. Um, and we also went over in that little demo right there how to change the color stuff. So that's pretty essential as well. Like, let's say we wanna change the color of these links. And look, they all kind of have a different uh, little selection. So again, we can use shift enter to go up a layer and we can grab the group that's holding these and let's see if we change if we can change the color of all these links at the same time we can so they are inheriting the color from their parent here which is really nice and i can change that to whatever i want right so now we can have red links and we can use our trick from earlier with command e to expand our selection to the rest of those and change the link color of all these at the same time so See how swift some tasks like that can become? We can even grab this little well element here, change its border to be blue, right? So now we have a blue border and we'll change the background to be uh, a really light blue. Yeah, and we'll just create that little effect here. We'll delete this out of there. Cool, and we have that little blue box that we just made because we're changing colors and changing colors should be easy. Okay, here's one that's hard though. Look, we have a border that's orange right there and I wonder how to get to that and how to change it. So when I'm clicking on this button right now, uh, which is an anchor I'm being told from the accessibility inspection tool, if I hit enter, I go into the button and if I hit tab and shift tab, I'll move around, but it looks like there's just an icon and some text in there. So I'm gonna hit shift enter to go back up and hit shift enter again. Interesting, and here we are with, so that must be a pseudo element. If I can't select it and I can't find it with the keyboard, it must not be in the DOM. So I can't change that. Visbug doesn't have any uh, pseudo element tools yet. I'll have to figure out how to make those clickable and make it so you can change them. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll look at this, I can change this dot color, this piece of cake, blue. The dot is blue now. CSS shall be hot pink, of course. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and um, let's see what else is on this, this list here. We have navigation, so that's how to, yeah, use the keyboard to navigate stuff. Oh, you can copy and paste styles. Um, so that's really neat. Let's see if we can do that here. Let's grab, well, we should be able to grab blue. Uh, command option C, come over here to yellow, command option V, and now it's blue. So it, what it did is it copied unique properties off of here and then pasted unique style properties over there. It's super cool. And if you want to undo the things that you've changed, so if I go and I select these again, Command E, and I hit Option Delete, I'll remove the styles that Visbug placed on there, which means I should be able to come into here, Command Shift E to select all of them, Command Shift E. Once I see the selection has been made, so Visbug's like drawing all of those elements, maybe it's drawing them? It looks like it's going one by one here. Oh yeah, it's just doing Command E. It's not doing Command Shift E. So anyway, we should be able to do that though. Hit all of them and then do uh, Option Delete and we'll get back to their original color, right? So that's kind of cool. I'm surprised that Command Shift E isn't working right here. Um, but I mean, I could just hold it like this and just wait a second 
um, and whatever your keyboard refresh rate is how fast you're going to be pushing those buttons and I'm almost to the end I'm almost there and when I get there I'll get command E one more time and then hit option delete and restore my contributions to where they were before <laughs> Uh, that's just funny. Okay, so uh, what else? Is there anything else in here? This video I feel like is getting long. Here's all the tools. Um, we changed colors. Those are all right here. So you can also change SVG. So if we can find some SVG, like here's a path. And the path is normally going to be using stroke and fill instead of like text color and background color. And Visbug just maps those here to text color and stuff. So we can see that if we want to change this icon, uh, we just change its fill color there. We can go in here, change this one pink and now we have pink ones we can uh, change this one to here something uh, like a good cyan sure all right yeah let's make it all retro in here so it's really cool so um, as you can see there's other tools like this inspect uh, accessibility tool it helps you inspect the accessibility attributes of a site making sure that things are good um, and yeah, I hope that was a decent overview to let you know and, and get you dangerous in a page so that you can start changing production. You can play around with the position tool and test to see where, where new things can go. I think that, that one's really handy for just a, uh, just a, just to know that it's there. It's full of other powers and we can get into them in another video, but this bug can change a lot of things about a page and it can do it pretty quickly and it can save you a whole bunch of time. I hope this little one one video helped you feel uh, more powerful in your, your web designs and the things that are coming out of WordPress or the things that are coming out of a design team or that you just want to just quickly play. I hope this helps your page feel like a sandbox. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and that's it. We'll see you later. Bye.